Thanks to Casetify for sponsoring this video. All right, what do, how does how do we even how do we even start a Garfield episode? Hey guys, it's Dan. Time to look at the weird costumes of my favorite fat cat, Garfield. Ugh, Mondays. Am I right? Don't be a lazy Garfield. Hit those buttons and subscribe and like and comment and, and you know, engagement, guys. Give it to me! Garfield, Garfield, Garfield. Garfield needs no introduction. I don't need to tell you who Garfield is, all right? Born in 1978, he's a fancy fat cat with very large jowls and super tiny feet. He's got an owner, he's got, there's a dog. If you love lasagna, statistically, there's a great chance you're gonna love Garfield. I mean, it's a one-to-one. -one. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. And in the 80s, Garfield got animated, man. Like Garfield was a cartoon. That's how I kind of, like sure he was in the comics, but like I remember him as a kid being a cartoon. And there was this massive boom in the 80s. There's just merchandise, TV specials, commercial spots, suction cup cats on car windows. Man, there was not a thing that you could not find Garfield stuck to. And here's what's funny about Garfield being animated is that it was tricky to animate him on all fours. So a transition began to happen both on screen and in the comics, bringing Garfield into the bipedal cat life. Of course I reached out to Quentin, Quentin Reviews. He's like the Garfield godfather, you know? And he told me that like it was such a problem that like it was Jim Schultz from Peanuts who had the same issue with Snoopy. It's like, well, just put him on his back feet. And so that's what they did. <laughs> so in the 80s, Garfield began to walk upright. So when did the first costume come, Dan, you're asking? Well, I hear you. In 1988, Garfield was celebrating his 10th anniversary and they did like this hour long special that culminated in this like dream sequence with Garfield and Odie. And it is wild, man, it's a trip. The costume looks like a bobblehead. It has really terrible proportions. The face of this Garfield is so weird. Now here's something interesting. Old Garfield, old cartoon, old comic Garfield had huge jowls that are now almost absent today because they just turned into a very round head. But this costume has like Marlon Brando with like cotton balls in his mouth, you know, jowls. They're just big old honking things. And they love dressing this Garfield costume up. It was the Garfield costume. Whenever Jim Davis was around and about, he even met Michael Jackson, I think, once, which, you know. Gotta go fast. Him and Sonic. <laughs> oh, gosh, we can't. Michael. Oh. This costume is super wide and does not feel like it has any kind of boning in it. It's just sad. And there's a part in the video where he pummels Odie's face into a cactus. <laughs> the violence of this cat. Kenny, you like it because it looks like the Garfield plushes that you grew up with, because it was just a blown up Garfield plush. But the proportions are weird, man. Admit it, that plushes are cool, but you can't embiggen them and hope for the best. <laughs> Thanks to Casetify for sponsoring this video. Inspired by the epic saga that changed pop culture forever, Casetify celebrates the legacy of Star Wars with new modern collection of lifestyle tech. Experience all new Casetify designs, paying homage to the iconic movie posters of the original Star Wars trilogy. I really enjoy Casetify because at its core, it's a brand built upon self-expression. That's something I can really get behind. I love showing off my style in a variety of ways, like my phone case. And let me say something, I sold Casetify cases literally all over the parks the last time I was there. They're everywhere, because they are great. So you can order like th three packs of cases, which is incredible. The three cases I got were of course, New Hope, Return of the Jedi, and the binary sunset of Tatooine. It's pink and it's beautiful and I'm going to use it and I don't care. Tatooine? Is that what that planet's called? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And the coolest thing is these cases are eco-friendly and they're also drop proof and ultra compact. And all the cases come in a collection of sizes to fit a variety of, of almost every phone. 
Growing up, man, I wanted to be Luke Skywalker as a kid because I could feel in my blood the amount of midichlorians I had. And I just dreamed of one day finding my place in the galaxy. And I prayed every night that my dad wasn't Darth Vader. And I hoped that there was a mysterious old man lost in the woods nearby, keeping an eye on me. So check out the new Star Wars Case Divide collection now. Seriously, some beautiful stuff, guys. Holy smokes. In the early 2000s, there was this by Coastal Garfield mascot war that for a long time, they were trying to get a Garfield Park made. Jim Davis was, he was pushing hard for it, right? But there was another Garfield theme park in Idaho of all places that in 2001 got the official like title of being the first Garfield theme park. It was pretty awesome. You could meet Garfield. It's wildly simple, yet overly complicated. I don't know how to describe it. It has this very like fluffy fabric that matted very easily. And so it just, it just always looks like dirty in most of the pictures. They overcorrected from like that, like super floppy version from the first costume and made this one super stiff. That kind of persists. This like big stiff head is like the, the, the direction they go moving forward with all Garfield costumes. Now remember, this is a bi-coastal Garfield mascot battle. So what's happening in the East Coast is Jim Davis is hard at work trying to get a Garfield theme park constructed. You know, you just watched that Garfield video from Defunct Land, I know you did. And so there's this big construction push to get this Garfield land that never comes to fruition, but there's a mascot designed by Paws Incorporated that they're using for all kinds of events that eventually get sucked up into Garfield's first official dark ride, Garfield's Nightmare in 2004 at Kennywood. This is a good Garfield costume, I gotta say. Paws Incorporated really put the pedal to the metal to update that, that old frumpy design that we saw in that 10th anniversary special into something really tight. This is like, it's a step above a Garfield plush. It is really well-rounded, has some really great proportions in the belly and the head and the eyelids. Just everything about this Garfield looks really great. This is a costume that is definitely designed with a lot of versatility. It has the oddest proportions with short arms and, and long legs, but this is because we gotta put college kids in this, right? Sweaty college kids just looking to make a buck so they can take Becky to the movies on Saturday. You know, it's just, it's a romance story, this Garfield costume, do you understand? <laughs> What does that even mean, Dan? Well, I don't know. <laughs> he's like, he's mischievous, but he's cute. You know, like he's up to something, but you love it. You know, <laughs> you're like, you rascal, I love you. <laughs> and Garfield's Nightmare, man, what a ride. <laughs> One of the spookiest parts of People Mover is the dark parts, you know? And like, and, and I don't need Garfield in the dark parts. And that's what that ride is. It's the dark parts of the people mover, but with Garfield. This is the Garfield for like 15 years. There was like a Garfield birthday lasagna show that would go to like malls in the 2000s. This was the Garfield official costume. That Silverwood, West Coast, someone must have got like the West Coast costuming rights because there's like Lake Compound or whatever that's got like a Garfield thing and that's fine. But you know what? We got to get out of America to get some good Garfield costumes, all right? Come on, let's pack a bag and go. For the 40th anniversary of Garfield, like there were like celebrations all across like certain Asian countries. And uh, Hong Kong, man, they have this like yesified Garfield that is like gorgeous. Look at this guy. Wow, that's like cartoon Garfield. Like truly, it's so fluffy and plush. Ooh, I just want to squeeze it. And I love this new inviting Garfield. Like look at his big bright eyes. You know when you see this Garfield, he's in a good mood. You know, he's excited, he's happy. You wanna go and hug him, you're like, Garfield, congratulations, it's not a Monday. This Garfield is a short costume. He's, he's, he's like stout, you know, he's, he's thick, he's adorable. And because of that, we're able to get like better proportions, like in the hands and the feet. We just do it right with this costume, it's beautiful. So in 2019, out in, in Malaysia, we essentially take the version we just saw in Hong Kong and mix it with the Kennywood version and birth this bizarre, fuzzy, you know, like police riot shield Garfield. Like what are these eyes? Like this costume was designed to be pelted with tomatoes. 
It's so strange. You know, it's just like, Mama, take me to see Garfield. I can see my face in his eyes. Like you, you truly have to like, you know, confront yourself in the unblinking mirrored eyes of Garfield when he's performing. That's definitely something that you have to truly look deep into the abyss and, and try to understand who you are and uh, what is life, you know? But, and you're just, it's just House of Garfield. <laughs> oh, House of Garfield. You know, it's 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 a fun Garfield. It's a bolder, like with the black outline around everything, it kind of makes the eyes certainly pop and, and you know, it feels like it's more hand-drawn as opposed to the Hong Kong one, which just feels very plushy version, you know. It's cute, it's cute. I don't know what the, any of the other characters are. And if Kenny, if you are showing that screenshot, you blur that obscene thing at the end. We can't, we can't describe something that looks like that as the sexy love interest. We can't, Kenny. It's so phallic. Odie is chaos, but this isn't an Odie evolution. This is a Garfield evolution. You might've paid attention and saw all the Odies. Yeah, what is it? Is it, is it a tongue? Is it like a, like a bouncy ball, a frisbee? Is that just supposed to be like a big gooey like throat hole? Ugh. <laughs> I've been to Singapore, man. I love that place. It is incredible. And Singapore hosted Summer Fun with Garfield and Odie. And we get, we get this weird, why, why is the fabric so loose on this one? This Odie, it continues to be terrifying. It's it's so weird. And he's got like this little Charlie Chaplin stash. Like literally, you could slide like a deck of cards through there. I don't know what that guy's seeing. Not much. But Garfield is so baggy. He's like he's like pants in the 90s. And and we got the low hanging eyes. And what's interesting is the eyelids, if you were to like take the costume apart, you could use each of those as a like a bath mat. Hey, here's a Garfield though we gotta talk about. We gotta go to Europe, to the Netherlands. Cause there's a Garfield that is so, it's like, it, it doesn't know what it wants to be. Are you CGI Garfield Garfield? Or are you cartoon Garfield Garfield? Or are you plush Garfield Garfield? Cause you're all of the things. But I like the fabric. I do, I like the fabric. That feels like a Disney World kind of like mascot character plush fabric. Doesn't feel like a bath mat or like a like a towel. I like that. And the dimensions are good. The eyelids are super, but what it does is it focuses the gaze of the character like none of the other characters have. Like Garfield has to just point his nose at whoever's taking the picture and he is looking at the person taking the picture. And it truly looks like he's engaging with you. So thanks, Netherlands. Now let's talk about the movie. Garfield. We'll step it up a little bit. Something like this. Love, Eddie. I'm a walk in the dog. Ugh, Mondays. Am I right? First and foremost, they don't like make a Garfield movie mascot. Uh, official. They had all of these inflatable Garfields that they took all over the place. And those were fun. Look how proud Jim Davis is of this essentially fairground inflatable cat that they just like put the Garfield skin on. Wherever this is, there is this terrifying image from the first Garfield film. Do, am I supposed to sit next to it and touch it? I don't know, man. That's creepy. That's real weird and it looks really good like underneath the poster, but also terrible at the same time. Ugh. This makes no sense. This is double Garfield. And then there are just people in the background eating peacefully, like oblivious to what's going on behind them. Now we gotta talk really quickly about Garfield bootlegs and we'll start with the movie that we just talked about. There's a Garfield movie bootleg uh, mascot that is pretty good, honestly, but also horrifying. Real fur, yeah, like this is like fur Garfield. Like, you know what they did to Sonic? Like ugly Look Sonic. You can't hurt my feelings if I'm in on the joke. This isn't a bootleg. I don't know how I, I put this one here accidentally, but look how sad this Idaho Garfield ends up getting beat up. Look at how deflated <laughs> and gross. Oh man. This one's cute, but it looks dirty. It looks filthy. 
Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's kind of official, but at the same time, I don't know, man. Whoever owns that should burn it. It's done. You know, you listen to Bob Barker, spay and new your cats, you know? Get rid of that thing, man. <laughs> Whoa, look at this beach ball, baby. This is this is a wild. This someone made that, man. That's just an exercise ball wrapped in paper mache. You can't you can't convince me otherwise. Whoa, look at this one. This is this is wild. This is a, like th this is the kind of Garfield you see wandering around the background of like some low budget Comic Con movie. You know, like it's just like we need a Garfield, and this is all they could find. It's like got mulch and like goo on it. No. No, 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 absolutely not. This one's cute. It's, it's an interpretation. Yeah, I would hug it. Look how thin the top of it is. It is the most pear-shaped Garfield. <laughs> I'm far too large these days to enjoy a bounce house, but if I was a young child, I'd crawl right into that, that low-budget Garfield because it's beautiful. Yeah, it's just enough to not be it. So that's the history of Garfield and his costumes. I really enjoyed you guys watching. It's been a real, it's, you know, it's been a real miserable experience because I did this all on a Monday. So, uh, thanks for watching guys. And as always, Mondays are the worst and you rock. That makes me so unhappy. I can't even, is that an NFT of like cat lasagna? Ugh, why am I nauseous looking at it?